Hello, welcome back. <sighs> okay, so today what I'd like to do is implement event signaling. Now, uh, I guess let's first read and understand and then we'll implement. All right, so the photograph manager keeps a manual reset event that reflects this we already read, the terminology we read. Call the get event handle method to get a handle to the manual reset event. Wait for the event to be signaled by calling a function such as wait for multiple objects. This got me thinking. I mean, got me thinking. This is bothering. W bothering me. What do you mean? I mean, I I'm doing all of this incredible work in order for me, in order for us, in, in order to not block the invoking thread. If I invoke wait for multiple objects or wait for anything, I'm going to block the invoking thread. So if the invoking thread is my user interface thread, I'm going to block it. So this sends us all the way back to uh, two, three, four, five lectures ago when we were blocking the user interface. What good is this? Once the event is signaled, call get event to get the direct show event. We'll come back to the discussion about the wait. The following code example illustrates this approach. It gets the event handled and waits a hundred milliseconds. For us this is terrible. We cannot wait a hundred milliseconds. We cannot wait anything because we have to return control to the, to the system we have to return from WinProc as soon as possible. We should never hold on to the control of the thread inside WinProc. We should always return from WinProc as soon as possible. When we hold on to the thread in WinProc, we're blocking WinProc from moving to allowing the user to move the window, resize the window, do stupid things, but the things that the user anticipates will be responded to instantaneously stupid or not. So it gets the event handle then waits in a hundred millisecond intervals for the event to be signaled. If the event is signaled it calls get event and prints the event code and event parameters to the console window. The loop terminates when the EC complete event occurs indicating that playback has completed. Alright so as, as, as I'm pointing out to you, it doesn't make any sense what they're saying. It's, it almost is self-contradictory. We're trying to create an event-driven application by waiting. I mean, it's going, to, it's going to lock the user interface. Bottom line, it's not going to work. It's not a solution for a, for a for creating a responsive application. Alright, nevertheless, let's go through the code, then we'll come back to a discussion. Alright, so handle, handle. Mm. Anyway, so wh wh what are they doing? So, get event handle returns. This will have the handle to the event that is associated with the event queue of the graph manager. That's good. forever loop basically, uh, basically an infinite loop, if wait for single object, right, it waits a hundred milliseconds this is not, this is no good for us, we cannot have such code we cannot have an infinite loop that waits for <coughs> I'm sorry, that waits for completion until it returns, alright, because the filter graph automatically sets or resets the event the Windows event. When appropriate, your application should not do so. Okay. Also, when you release the filter graph, release the filter graph. I'm thinking in the background, they're giving us, the Dark Show is giving us a handle to the event. This is terrible because we can destroy the event. Call destroy handle, close handle on the handle to the event, and you, and 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 you destabilize the uh, the graph manager. Well, 
to which I would say, okay, you can always take a sledgehammer and destroy your house. Nobody's going to stop you. I mean, the, you need help? We can help you. You want to destroy your life? Destroy it. So, okay. So also when you release the filter graph, the filter graph closes the event handle, so do not use the event handle after that point. Okay. Alright. So now... Now, what do I have to say about about this this this? N I, I don't want to say nonsense, but it doesn't make sense. So there is no sense about this. No sense. So what do I say? So I say like this: There's two ways of building an application, right? You can have an application that is driven by the main. The, by the user interface thread and from that thread anytime you click on anything any button anything that thread does something that's one way so the the user interface thread is involved is more involved than just with the user interface like we have right now right now our user interface thread is also receiving events from the graph manager letting it know that there are events in the queue which is n which has nothing to do with user interface. So sometimes our thread, our so one way of building an application is is getting the user interface thread involved in more than user interface. That's one way. Bad, good. It's a, it's a way. As the name suggests, it's not the best way because user interface thread should be involved as much as possible only in user interface. It should not be involved with non-user interface stuff. Okay, that's one way. Another way is to have, is to allocate another thread or threads or use the thread pool threads to do other things instead of involving in, so that you involve the user interface that as, l as least as possible with non-user interface stuff. So, just talking to another thread, that's, that's bad enough. And the other thread is going to do whatever the other jobs are. So, so th th the difference between these two ways is, 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 is like splitting a hair. It's not clear. One way is for the user interface thread to be to be involved with a little bit more than just user interface stuff. Another way of building an application is to be more stringent and say, no, we're going to stay away from allowing a user interface thread uh, from doing non-user interface. It's just a matter of stringency. How strict are you? Is your user interface thread doing things beyond user interface or are you trying to avoid that? Now, up until now, we haven't really tried to avoid it. We, the user interface thread has been doing everything. Basically, there is a point that out and you can... There is ways you can see it. There are other threads inside the direct show components. There are other threads. So the user interface thread is talking to these threads, but ultimately the, uh, the graph manager is talking to the user interface and letting it know, and the user interface does stuff, and this is not user interface related. There's no windows, nothing. So, okay, that's one way. And the other way without, with, with staying away from the user interface, doing non-user interface stuff, would be to have the user interface thread being separated from another thread. Even inside our application, we really should have the user interface thread working right once once the graph once the graph tells us listen i'm going to notify your your user interface thread about uh, about non user interface events and we scratched our head and we said um, okay a bell should have gone off in our head and a red flag should have started waving that this is not this, this is not what the user interface thread was intended to do when it was created, when they thought of a user interface thread. Anyway, so 
the way it's going to be in order for us to understand, for, right? Because we said this doesn't make any sense. So in order for us to understand what, what they're saying, because what they're saying I think is wrong, right? It doesn't make sense, it's wrong. A proper, they said here that there is, if you want to see a correct example of the implementation, no, that's responding, yeah, right? This is the second, this is window notification, responding to events. And this is event signaling, so maybe in responding to events, I should look it up, maybe at one point or another. But wh what they're saying here doesn't make too much sense. So in order to understand the mechanism that they're presenting here, there's not much choice. We really need to create a separate thread. We should have the original user interface thread taking care of the user interface. And as soon as we're told, right? Again, as soon as we're told, listen, we're going to ask your user interface thread to do stuff other than user interface, we should have said, okay, two threads. We don't want that. We want two threads and we'll use the event with, with this new thread. So the original thread is going to take care of the user interface. And this new thread is going to be responsible for managing the graph. So that when the graph wants to let us know that there has been changes, it's going to notify basically this thread. It's going to signal the event and signaling the event is going to wake up this thread. So this thread is going to be blocked. Right? We have no choice, we have no choice. So this thread, the second thread, the secondary thread, the, the, the audio playing dedicated thread is going to be blocked on the event. Right? So maybe we should draw a diagram because this is becoming a little bit complicated and I'm using uh, my hands, to, uh, I'm, w I'm waving my hands so that, that's the time when I should draw a diagram. So we have the original thread. This is the original thread, right? It goes, threads go around in a loop. That's what threads do. So even WinProc, it's, right, it's waiting for an event, it gets an event from your queue, WinProc goes back to waiting for events on the queue. That's the user interface thread, right? So the graph manager has a queue, has a queue of events and an event, and it signals the event when it puts something in the queue. So there it puts something in the queue. Let me, I don't know what to choose here, but let's say this. So it puts something in the queue. As soon as it does that, it signals the event. The event has been signaled. Once the event is signaled, no, this is before the event. Before the event, control Z, before the event, control Y, there is no, no, there is no event. There is no event object, there is no ev Windows event object. So it puts something in the queue and it sends a message to the queue Right? There is a queue, the, the user interface thread has a queue of Windows messages. So, the graph manager, this is the graph manager, this is the graph. And this is the queue. And this is an event, and we're almost out of time. And out of time. Ah, and this is an event. And this is the Windows Messages queue. And this is a this is the user interface thread. Alright, we're going to continue this in the next lecture. Basically, we're going to have to rebuild our application, it, not in this way. This is the way it is, it is right now. We're going to have to modify it. This we'll do in the next lecture. So we'll stop here, and we'll see you in the next lecture. Thank you very much.